My name is Clarence, and I'm the lead evangelist at Elastos. Elastos is more than just a blockchain. It's actually an infrastructure. There's multiple components to Elastos. One of the main components is Elastos Carrier, which is a peer-to-peer -peer decentralized network of nodes. And one of the primary points of Elastos Carrier is that we don't want to allow any access to the network layer. So apps built on Elastos do not have access to make any HTTP calls or socket binds or anything like that. Um, this brings up an interesting problem case for developing apps in Elastos. So you don't have access to any of your traditional um, services that you used to use. So if you're used to using like AWS cloud services like S3 or things like that, you'll have to recreate them in Elastos. Expect your submissions to be very detailed. We want you to think through the problems to completion, basically. And since a lot of the services that you are used to on the traditional internet, such as like AWS services that you used to use, like S3 or RDS or Lambda servers don't exist, we want you to think through what services you deem necessary and give detailed descriptions of those as well. Being necessary, you're going to need to design decentralized versions of those as well. For example, if you need to use something like AWS Lambda, how would you design it in a decentralized manner? You could perhaps distribute the function to multiple nodes and then figure out a consensus model to agree on the correct function um, through some sort of voting mechanism, staking, for example. Or <clears throat> if you need file storage, you could use something like IPFS. And how would you integrate IPFS with Elastos? Um, typically, we'd expect something that involves like the DID, the Distributed Identity Service, um, using the blockchain or the sidechains. Um, if you need to use a sidechain, are you going to use a different consensus model or are you going to use merge mining? These are all things you want you to think through very thoroughly. For your ideas and suggestions, we really want you to leverage the strong points of Elastos. And these are the digital assets and security points, strong points of Elastos that we focus on. For security, we have the Elastos carrier and then the runtime on top of it. So the runtime itself that all Elastos apps runs in does not have access to the network, as you know. And this is a secure environment where we can also call the, to the blockchain and verify the authentic, authenticity of any apps or code that's being run. And by code, we're talking about a new paradigm where even data is code. So if you buy a movie, you also buy, you buy, actually buy code, and that movie is signed and the ownership is can be tracked and verified. So you can later on sell that movie and you would then lose access to that movie. And we kind of want to create this new internet of wealth. And if you read about documentation, I think that will become very clear what we're going for. The area that looking for ideas in is now T space. If you look at a lot of our current partnerships, you'll see that a lot of them are in the LT space. And that's because Elastos Carrier is very well suited for LT. With the secure network that's peer-to-peer -peer and controlled by the Elastos Carrier, it's a lot harder for any infected LT nodes to spread their infection. And typically, if you think about LT devices, they connect to a central server somewhere, or they're managed centrally. And peer-to-peer -peer is a new paradigm. You could try to imagine IoT devices that just talk to each other and you, they have access to the blockchain too and the other side chains so they could leverage those as well and we're looking for any cool ideas in that area as well. For our judging criteria, we're really looking for ideas that leverage Elastos, either through the security aspect of the carrier or the digital assets aspect of the runtime, which as you know uses a blockchain to verify the ownership of digital assets. Um, our founders, Rong Chen's main vision is, a, is an internet of wealth where digital assets also in, in, increase their value through scarcity. Um, we can trade as digital assets. Um, they could be limited editions of digital assets. And I think that's only the beginning. There's a lot more that can come that probably we haven't thought about. Um, if you look at even currently in the marketplace nowadays with online video games and cosmetic items and things like that, people already assign value to digital assets. And if we can make a, a world or an internet where that's commonplace, there might be a lot more opportunities to expand in that space.